Acts chapter 11, we learned about God's heart and his counsel for world mission. Initially, Apostle Peter faced a challenge in overcoming his Jewish traditions and way of thinking. However, God persisted in helping him until he accepted God's counsel for world mission. At first, Peter struggled with the idea of eating animals that were considered unclean. Nevertheless, he eventually obeyed God's instructions and preached the good news to Cornelius, a Roman centurion. Peter witnessed firsthand how the Gentile Cornelius and his house believed in the message, received the Holy Spirit and became part of the church. We were encouraged to overcome our inner obstacles, embrace students from all backgrounds and plant the word of God into their hearts. The International Wednesday Bible Seminar started with a message delivered by Daniel Gates on Mark chapter 2 with the title, Jesus Came to Call Sinners. Following that, Samuel continued providing his special lecture on the history of ancient Egypt. Furthermore, the next generation leaders shared their personal testimonies, building up an international common life. During the discipleship meeting, we listened to messages delivered by Samuel Abram Chang and Rebecca Pauline Chang. They openly shared their personal experiences of being accepted by God's servants, despite their perceived uncleanness. As a result, they have overcome their own limitations in order to serve their students in the medical faculty and their school. Additionally, Sarah Grace Chang provided a special lecture on architecture in the Greek and Roman world. The leadership seminar was held with a factual study of the book of Exodus. Andrea Schweitzer is dedicating herself to thoroughly examining the th entire book and sharing God's redemptive history through one leader, Moses. The University of Lyon is an alliance consisting of 15 colleges and grand écoles situated in the wider Lyon region, bringing together over 100,000 students and more than 5,000 professors. Among these, Lyon 1, Claude Bernard, Lyon 2, Lumière, and Lyon 3, Jean Moulin, stand as the three major universities. Over time, religious educational institutions underwent a transformation into universities since the late 18th century and new universities were established in the 20th century. Let us earnestly pray for God's guidance to raise up Bible teachers among the numerous students in Lyon. We pray according to Nehemiah 2.17 for the rebuilding of the spiritual wars in Europe and the mobilization of the next generation according to Ezekiel 37.10. Let us pray for 10,000 one-to-one Bible study teams, the pioneering of all 1,700 campuses in Europe, and the sending of 100,000 missionaries by 2041. May God guide the International Bible Seminar every Wednesday evening. We also pray for the preparation of the master courses and house concerts of the Semfcon Orchestra. Let us also pray for the preparation for the GLE Forum 2023, which will be held from July 3rd to 10th.